Love it or hate it, the Didax defeat scene at the end of Halo 4's campaign is a memorable one, which is why I've decided to recreate it for my latest Mega Ideas project. Unlike my previous idea, the ODST insertion set that was designed to be an army builder type set to encourage growth, expansion and customization amongst builders, the Didax Defeat is more in line with the Forerunner Flood Lab set I created originally in regards to it's something that I just think is supposed to look nice on a shelf that people will instantly recognise, while well, any Halo fan will instantly recognise as that's the defeat of the Didax. So whilst you can choose to reposition the figures depicting various points of that scene slash end boss fight level, it's generally just a display type of set. Whilst I won't be creating a full build video for this ideas set, I did time lapse myself creating the light bridge because I suspected I'd get a lot of questions on how did I do it. And as you can see, it couldn't be more simple. It's literally just plate stacking various size plates on top of each other and then lying them on their side to create the light bridge. And I think you'll agree it's the perfect way to create a light bridge. I was so pleased with the way this turned out. I originally planned on using these sections here, which are from the old Snowbound High Base set, which would have been a nice idea, but I wasn't sure how I was going to stick them all together. And I wasn't really sure whether the end result would look how I wanted it to. So I moved on to all the blue pieces I had kicking around and originally planned to just have them studs up and then I thought well that would look a bit too study and the light bridge is incredibly smooth so then I thought well hang on a minute let's just stack them and see what that looks like I tried a little bit at first just see what it looked like instantly loved it so figured well let's just build as much as I can to see how how big a bridge I can create and it turns out I had just enough parts to create the bridge for a reasonably sized display set that I could see actually being sold you don't want to make it too big because then it would just be unreasonable to ever become a set You'll also notice I put a few of the side building pieces in so I can attach the figures to them in various places. Obviously, you could put these in wherever you wanted to. I just put them in randomly where I thought the figures would look good. And ideally, they wouldn't be grey, but I didn't have any of these in matching blue. Obviously, if the set was made officially, they'd create those pieces in matching blue. So they just disappeared into the light bridge. Once I'd finished the light bridge and tested some figures on it and I was happy with it, I needed to create some ends for the light bridges because I didn't want it just sat on the table. I wanted it elevated slightly to give it that feeling of a light bridge. Using some of the old silver Mega Blocks pieces rather than the newer Mega Constructs pieces, just because I prefer the colour of those pieces, I created two very simple ends. One of them is the end that you walk up onto the light bridge and then the other part is the bit where the didact is that central ring where the laser is firing down towards earth none of this is game accurate i just wanted to make something that looked like two ends of a light bridge when it comes to figure placement as you can see i've used three of the cortana figures from the broadsword midnight strike set because that's the only one i had three cortanas of so they're not ideal they're not super articulated it'd be much better if they had custom built figures for this set with super articulation it would make posing so much better I also wanted to use a half figure coming out of the bridge as she rises up out of the light bridge. But with these figures, that's very difficult to do without it looking clumsy. So I decided to just have them mid run when they actually pounce on the didact. And you can see I've used that blue rod to resemble the fourth Cortana once she turns into hard light and actually holds his arm down. For the chief, I just used this very simple combination of rods and pivot pieces to support the chief up in the air so it looks like the didact still has him in his jedi style grip while he's trying to crush him inside his own Mjolnir armor a few additional items i added on there just for fun was i just made this up with just a few pieces which is supposed to resemble the nuke that the chief eventually detonates and then also we've got one of the forerunner grenades that the chief uses to pin to the didact just to hold him down for long enough for him to kick him off the side of the uh, light bridge to his doom. Whilst I can't deny that this is definitely not a set for everyone, especially the younger consumers, given its lack of interactivity and playability, I do still think it makes a really nice display piece and would be improved greatly by updating the figures with some superposable Cortanas. Definitely a didact without his face armor on, like he is in that cutscene. That would be a great figure to get, as well as an updated Chief as well. 
It would also be a really good set to incorporate lights into. They've done that with the recent Witcher set. If they were able to incorporate lighting bricks into either end of this light bridge, so when you turn them on, they actually illuminated the light bridge, that would be absolutely fantastic and a real nice gimmick for when it was on display to just show people you just turn the button and there you go, the light bridge lights up. So feel free to let me know what you think about this set. Love it, hate it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe for future Mega Ideas projects. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.